everybody. It's Heather from Cottontail Crafts. It's Thursday, June 13th. Um, and I did get some stuff made already this week. Um, the first thing I made was some um, zippered pouches. So I had made some poop bag dispensers last week. Um, so I made two more. And I decided to do some with the Nova Scotia Tartan. So I ran this one. And then I ran this one. So the poop bag dispenses out the bum hole. So I did order some more vinyl because I am low on the vinyl that is like pretty different colored vinyl. Because I think these look cuter than the solid vinyl colors that I have done in the past. So I did two more poop bag dispensers. <clears throat> and I ran those on Sunday. Um, I also ran some more zipper pouches because I'm really low on my zipper pouches. So I did two in the Nova Scotia Tartan because I only have one of these left. So I will have to make more of these because this is probably my best seller. Um, and I'm in Nova Scotia, so. Then, um, my friend, she gave me some New Brunswick fabric that she wasn't using. So I did two um, in the New Brunswick fabric because me and her are doing a show this August in New Brunswick. So I'll probably make a few more just in case those are popular there. So I did two of those. And then everything else, oh wait, I did three of these. Um, so I ran three with this fabric because this fabric is pretty popular with the kids. So I did one with a pink zipper, one with a blue zipper, and one with a purple zipper. And I like to kind of match the inside of the bags. So that one I did purple material on the inside. And this one I did blue. Like I like mixing and ma matching, it's a lot of fun. And this one I think I did pink. Yeah. So I did three with that fabric. Then I bought some new fabrics. So I, I did one of each um, in the new fabrics and I really like this one. Um, it's got little puffins on it. So I made that one. And then this one, I don't know if there's supposed to be kitty gnomes. But they're little cats wearing like gnome hats. And they're playing in the garden. Like, isn't that cute? So I did that one. And then people like their chickens and roosters. So I did a bag with um, chickens and roosters on it. And then the last, oh, I got two, two more here. Then I did this one. It's got like sheep and cows and horses and pigs and goats on it. And it's really cute. So I ran that one. And then the last one I did was little sloths. And I've sold a few of these. So whenever I run out, I always make more. People like sloths. So I think I got like 10 10 zipper pouches done and two poop bag dispensers. So then um, our markets have moved outside. Um, of course, I haven't been to an outside market since it moved outside because um, this weekend is Father's Day, so I'll be going to visit my dad. And then last weekend, I can't remember why I didn't go. There was one week it was my niece's birthday, so um, I just haven't been able to to go so but I pretty much only sell my 
keychains when I'm doing the outdoor markets because I don't know like for some reason when we move back inside the keychains don't sell as well so I really only make and take them when I'm outside and I only make my keychains in the cotton yarn so I made 10 stingrays and I did them in a bunch of different colors and I, I really like this color. I just find the cotton is more durable. You can throw it in the wash and you don't got to worry about it falling apart. They're so cute. And that one's cute too. So cute. So I think I did like 10 stingrays. And then I did like 13 or 14 little octopuses. Now, when I do the little octopuses in the acrylic yarn, I did have one here earlier. Um, this is how tiny they turn out. <laughs> um, so I decided to double up my cotton yarn and I went up to a five millimeter hook. Um, and these are so quick and easy. Um, the stingrays are quick and easy too. So I punched out, I punched out, I pumped out a bunch of little octopuses and I did a bunch of different colors. They're so cute. So I got like 14 of them done. And I plan on making more. Um, I have a spinner behind me that has some on it, but it's pretty empty. So I made a bunch of octopuses. Like they're so cute. Adorable, they're adorable. Okay. <laughs> so I got a few of those done because I really want to pump out some more st small stuff. So then um, I seen this texture call on Instagram and it was for a loaf cat. And I know there's a bunch of different variations of loaf cats like on Etsy, on Instagram, a lot of free patterns kicking around. Um, but I really, really like the look of this one. So um, I applied to test um, and she messaged me on Instagram right away and she just sent me the pattern right away. So I'm not in a group chat or anything. Um, and I intended to make three. So this is the first one I made. And I want to do these in only like cat colors. And I did them all in Bernat blanket. And I used a 6.5 millimeter hook. And I used 14 millimeter eyes, I believe. So that's the first one I made. And then he's got a little butt. And these are so easy. And I, I loved how it turned out. So. I made another one and I think the second one I made was this one so I did a gray and white kitty cat so cute so adorable okay so I made the second one and then I'm like oh this this is new yarn so I thought a cat would look really good in this and this is just a Bernat blanket variegated black white and gray so I did this cat and I intended to stop at three, but then I'm like, this is really nice. I think if any of these are going to sell, it's going to be this one. <laughs> so I made another one. So I have two of these. And then I'm like, well, if I add a little bit of orange in it, it'll be more of a calico cat. So I had to do it again and I added orange throughout the whole cat. 
And then it just kind of snowballed from there. Um, like they're, they're so adorable. Like I love them. They're easy. They're quick. Um, I think I could put them in a cardboard box and put like kittens for sale or kittens for adoption. And you know, I think they'll be popular. So then I made another one. <laughs> well, I intended to do three and I'm up to eight. <laughs> Excuse me. So that just goes to show you like how much fun these are to do. So then I'm like, well, I can do a tabby. And I did light gray and dark gray, and then I just alternated the rows. So I did a, 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 a tabby cat. <laughs> well then last night, I'm like, what am I gonna crochet on my live? I usually do small, easy stuff. And I'm like, well, I have this pattern memorized. So I messaged the girl that created the pattern and said, hey, is it okay if I do this during my live? I know the pattern's not live yet. And she's like, yeah, sure, absolutely. So I made this one during my YouTube live last night. So I'm up to eight cats. Well, I showed my coworker a picture of, I think it was this one. And she's like, oh my gosh, how much are you selling these for? And I'm like, I think I'm gonna sell them for 20, but I always give my coworkers a better deal, always. So I said for you 15. So, um, I just sent her a picture of all the different colors, so she's gonna let me know which one she wants, and then I will um, take it to work tomorrow. So I just wanted to jump on and film all the cats that I have made, and might as well show the keychains too, and my zipper pouches, because that's what I got done so far, and I still have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before I upload my video on Sunday. I have a market in Tanamagush this Saturday. So I will have that footage for you as well. But I think tonight I'm gonna pump out a bunch of stingrays in the plush Parfait Chunky because I'm pretty sure I only have like one or two left and they go in my $5 bin. So I need to make some more plush stingrays. Now, I had these at $6 last year. I'm debating on whether or not I should move it up to $7. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I have to think about it. Um, I might just keep them at 6 because really, they're so quick and easy. Um, so that's it for now. Um, I'll be back later with some more makes and some market footage for you guys. And thank you so much, everybody, for the likes, the shares. Like, I really appreciate it. So I'll be back in a bit with some more makes. So we'll talk to you soon. Hi, everybody. I'm back. It's Friday, June 14th. Um, I have a market in Tanamagush tomorrow. Um... So I did get a few more things made and I worked on some $5 stingrays because I am almost out of those. So I got 16 of them done. So I made two in Peacock, two in Lagoon, I think this is mint green. So I got two of those. And then I did two in peach. I really like this color. I only did one in gray. I don't know why I only did one. Um, I did two in light blue. I did, I think this is hibiscus. Um, two in hibiscus. These are so quick and easy, so I wanted to pump some out. And I did three in the I believe this is very berry. So I got a bunch of stingrays done. So now I have to pack up all my keychains that I've made, 
my stingrays that I've made. I have to price my loaf cats. So thank you, Maggie, for letting me test your little kitty cat. Um, her Instagram will be linked in the channel below. And I'm not sure when this will be available on Instagram, but go follow her. Um, she just reached 100 subscribers. Um, well, she, she was at 100 subscribers. I think she's at a little bit more now. So hopefully this video will get her some more followers. So I gotta price my kitty cats and I gotta pack up the zipper pouches and my poop egg dispensers and I will try to get some footage of the market tomorrow in Tatamagush. So we will see you in a bit. Good morning everybody. It's market day and I just got to the venue and I'm gonna flip the camera around and you'll see what extra I get to play with today. I'm so excited. I have like an armoire behind me. So I'll get all set up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got all set up and I did a lower grid because I have those shelves behind me. So I couldn't get as much plushies out as I'm used to because I only went too high on my grid instead of three, but I think it's fine. I think I got enough stuff out. I mean, I bring way more stock than I need usually anyway, so but I love them displayed up there like that. It looks so cute. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Hi everybody. It's still Saturday, June 15th. Um, I got home from my market. And I gotta say it was a pretty crappy day. Um, I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but this market took the cake. Um, so it was two hours away, so um, I was on the road at 4.40 in the morning to go to my friend's house, load her car, and then off to the market we went. Well, we got about a good, like, 20 minutes down the road, and I forgot to put her soap order in that she was going to drop off for, you know, a customer from her friend. So back to my house we go. <laughs> um, which it was fine because we miscalculated how long it was going to take us to get there. We thought it was going to be like close to like two and a half to three hours, but it was only two hours. So that was fine because it helped kill a little bit time because we did get there early. <laughs> um, but I got there and I was excited because I had that corner cabinet behind me. So I had to play around with my display. Um, I thought it looked really good. Um, but they had me in a room with two other vendors that was separate from the rest of the vendors. Anyway, it totally was not worth it. Um, and my friend, she didn't even do that good either. So we have come to the conclusion that no more excursions to Tatamagush. <laughs> We're done. We're done with Tatamagush. It's a beautiful venue. Um, the weather didn't really help us out. Um, I think the only person that did well was the baker. And she actually left early because she sold out. But I'm pretty sure she sells out every time she's there. Um, I only sold five to ten dollar items. Um, and like, I will go through my sales. Um, but yeah, it was pretty bad. And I was up at 2.30 in the morning, like I could not sleep and I don't know why, like, 
I think I have a sinus infection. Um, I get them and they just don't want to go away. So I just, I couldn't sleep. Um, so I'm really, really, really tired. Um, and I'm going to not even crochet tonight. Um, I do have a pattern test that I'm going to maybe start tomorrow night um, for next week. But I ain't doing nothing tonight. I'm done. I'm done. Um, so I sold four $10 mini birds for $40. And they were all chickens except for one. One was a mallard duck. So... I think I sold two white ones with the red comb. I sold one that was mustard. No, I sold two that was mustard red and black. And I sold two white chickens with red combs. So I don't think, okay, maybe I didn't sell a mallard, mallard duck. Um, and I sold one mush, mushy boy for $8. I don't think I'm going to make any more of those. Um, they sold really well last year, but... They're kind of not selling well this year. I sold four $5 octopuses for $20. I sold two $5 stingrays for $10. So just in the $5 items, that was my table fee right there. So if I hadn't have had the five $5 items, like it, it would have been like my worst market ever. And then I sold a chicken wearing a frog hat for $8. So my total was $77. My table fee was $30. My square fees were a whopping 13 cents. <laughs> so after my fees, I made $46.87 for a two hour drive. So I am not going back to Tadamagush. Um, I looked at my sales from last year and I was there twice. And each time I just made a little bit over $200. So for me, that's not worth the gas money there and back. That's like four hours of driving and well, gas isn't cheap either. So I did 69 in cash and $8 in square. So yeah, it's a pretty bad market. And I felt so bad because like, I was not myself today, um, and I wasn't cranky because, you know, I didn't do good. I, I think I was just so overtired, um, but yeah, no sales didn't help either, but I'm going to bed early tonight, and it's supposed to be really nice tomorrow, and I'm kind of bummed because I haven't been to an outdoor market yet, but I have to go visit my dad. It's Father's Day, so... I'm, I haven't been to an outdoor market yet since it moved outside. Um, I'll get there someday. I looked at the forecast. Of course, the next couple of Sundays it's supposed to rain, but we'll wait and see. Um, I heard from some other vendors that the market's pretty slow right now, so I might wait till July and see what happens. Um, I'm going to be doing... Fairview and Halifax again next week and then I have one more market there and we'll decide if we're going to do any more in Fairview so that's it that's all I have that's all I have for this week um, I figured I'm going to work on my video tonight and get that scheduled for tomorrow because I ain't going to be home tomorrow so yeah that's it that's it so, thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> I wish it had been more exciting. Um, like, kudos to the people who are making thousands of dollars because I ain't having much luck over in this neck of the woods. Yeah, so that is it. I think I'm gonna maybe have a nap. No, because if I have a nap, then I won't sleep tonight, so could be the last game of the season for hockey so I'll probably watch the first period of that if I can stay up for it <laughs> so that's it I'm I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna relax for the rest of the night see you later